Hey YouTube, this is Rescue Amusement Park Fan 62. It is Sunday, December the 18th at around 2.30. Now, Kings Island's Winterfest, pros and cons. Now, this is my thoughts, um, some pros and some cons of Kings Island's Winterfest. If you have different ones, that is totally fine. First, the pros. Now, okay, decorations. Now, the decorations that they have are quite cool because they have different themes for each section. Um, for example, like in Action Zone, now it's called like Icy Zone or something like that. They have like snowmen and penguins and stuff like that. Um, Uh, around like jukebox diner or whatever that is called they have like blow molds and stuff like that so it's rather cool next is food um the food that they have is quite good uh for christmas um the uh meatloaf burger they have it um near diamondback that one place um, is actually really good. Um, and then they, and then the, then they, then there's one in the front that's really good as well. I'm sorry, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Now, this is where we start and get to the first con, going back to the decorations for a minute. It seems like, Certain areas they were focused on, and then other areas they were not. Um, for example, um, in certain air areas of the park, there's a lot of Christmas lights. Um, so, like that area that goes between uh, International Street going toward Action Zone or Icy Zone, whatever they want to call that. Um, there's a lot of like multicolor lights like on the trees and bushes and stuff like that. Now, with that being said, not all the trees are covered in light. So it's only about halfway. Um, now, in the front, they have a lot of like Christmas tree, like small Christmas trees. I'm not, they, I don't know if they're real or not. So, but it looks like each of those only have about like one strand of lights per tree. Now, there's probably like a good 10 to 12 of those trees. And then like all the trees on the outside um, have strings of lights going around as well. And it looks fine as is, but like especially with the smaller trees, for instance, you kind of wish they would add at least one more strand around it. Um, I understand, you know, you're, they don't have a lot of time for a lot of that just because of um, there you only have like those three weeks between haunt and winterfest starting so uh, three and a half really now another con I, I should say too is limited ride selection um so if you go to like a six flags park, Dollywood, Silver Dollar City, and all them, you will know most of the time the rides are open with, you know, within the weather stuff. Where, where with Kings Island and really any Cedar Fair Park, it's only like a limited ride. So, I see... I think they should have more coasters open during that time. Um, but I understand, especially Christmas time, their staffing is limited. So I understand they have to do what they can. Now, a pro, especially for kids, is is you can they have what they call mrs claus's kitchen 
Now, if you don't know what this is, it's basically a part of the gift shop that they redesigned and made it where you can decorate like cookies and I think cupcakes as well. So that, I mean, that's pretty neat. neat. Um, I, it looks like you get at least about eight or so. So, I mean, you get a decent amount for the money. Um, I think that's like $22 or $23 or something like that. So, yes, it is a little bit expensive, but you still get a good amount of cookies and cupcakes in there as well. Um, now, this is more for the people who drink alcohol. Um, unfortunately, you your selections are very limited during that time. So you can only basically get alcohol in Festus House, um, uh, Blitzen's Diner, or whatever it's called. Otherwise known as Miami River Brew House, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. Um, maybe the La Rosa in Rivertown, I'm not sure. And, um, I think that's about it so a lot of the alcohol cards you see during the seasons um, those were all gone uh same with dipping dots which i'll get to that in a second um so if you're looking for alcohol that is one of the things you probably want to do is oh and then you also have the beer garden um behind hanks um Mexican grill as well. I forgot about that. Um, as long with alcohol, you can also get, um, along with beer, I should say, you can also get uh, different types of um, alcoholic drinks as well, uh, in both hot and cold. Um, the cool thing they also do is you can get hot chocolate with alcohol in it and without. So... That is another option. Um, okay, speaking of hot chocolate, you can get a souvenir cup um, where it's free refills that first night and then $2 refills after that first night. Now, please be aware uh, some places hot chocolate is more richer than others. So keep that in mind. Um, if you want a place where the hot chocolate is good and it's not as rich, I would highly suggest uh, the Grater's Ice Cream on International Street. I think it's called like Blitzen's Ice Cream or something like that. Um, their hot chocolate is pretty good. Um, it's not as rich. Um, but if you do like um, rich hot chocolate, um, I would highly suggest the Tom and Chi uh, close to uh, Diamondback in that area, so uh, so it's up to you. Um, now, if you are looking for Dippin' Dots, um, there's only two places in the park, I believe, maybe three, that serve Dippin' Dots during Winterfest, and that is a cart that is close to Action Zone. Um, it's right there at the edge. Um, Please note they are out of certain flavors as well, so keep that in mind. And then also the cart, well, it's a small place um, on that side pathway that goes right by um, basically near like the bathroom, near um, Italian Sun Job or something like that, um, and then behind Diamondback as well. They also serve them knots as well. Now, last thing is this. Depending on how you feel about certain things for this event, it is a rather cool event, no matter if you are going just for like an hour to stay in the whole night. Um, and I highly do suggest trying it out. 
Um, but please keep in mind, um, they are only open five to six hours a night. So keep that in mind. But I do highly suggest 